Hi, I'm Mr. Mendoza, and we're going to do a quick review of this last section of social studies, being people in the marketplace. Work. Producers and consumers depend on each other for the goods and services they want. Producers provide the goods and services that consumers buy. Producers sell or give a product and consumers buy or take the product. Here's something to categorize and classify. Copy and fill in the chart to categorize and classify what you learned about the goods and services producers provide. Producers, they make or sell products. So here are some services. One example of a service is teeth care. What other services do producers give? Goods. One example are flowers. What other goods do producers sell? Occupations. One is a park ranger. What other occupations or jobs do producers hold? Lastly, jobs for children. Children can also be producers. They can sell things. They can sell goods or services. They can invent something and sell it. What are some other examples that children can sell? Craft sales. What else? Here's some words for us. Producer and page numbers also. Con producer, goods, services, consumer, and marketplace. Use the vocabulary to match, match the words to its meaning. Things that can be bought and sold, what are they? Work done for others, number two. Work done for others, three. A place where goods are sold. Four, a person who buys goods and services, and five, a worker who grows, makes, or sells goods. Here's something to recall or give me facts. Why do people earn income? Why? Why do we make money? Seven. What can make goods scarce? To know what scarce means. What can make goods scarce? Eight. Why do countries trade goods? Why? Why does everyone trade? Nine, which good can be made in a factory? Which good can be made in a factory? Think about goods that, that, that can be assembled. And think about that. Assembled is brought together, made. Flowers, can flowers be made in a factory? B. Can raisins be made in a factory? C, can oranges be made in a factory? Or D, can bicycle helmets be made in a factory? 10, what do we call the work a person does to earn money? What do we call the work a person does to earn money? Occupation, want, consumer, or free enterprise? Think critically. What would happen if the United States could not trade with other countries? What would happen if we couldn't trade products that we don't have here in America? What would happen? How would your life be different if your family had to provide all of the goods it wanted? Imagine if your family either had to grow everything or make everything. Would we have everything we need? Here's something to apply a, a graph for us to look at our skills. June bicycle sales, week one, two, three, and four. Hmm. June bicycle sales, sales. Isn't that how many bicycles were sold in June? I guess there are four weeks in June. Let's see, just by looking at this, I know that more bikes were sold on week three. The least amount of bikes were sold on week one. How many bikes were sold all together? How many bikes were sold on every week except 
the third week. So we wouldn't do the week three, we'll only count week one, three, one, two, and four. Let's read. What is the title of this bar graph? What is the title of this bar graph? 14. How many bicycles were sold in week two? Week two. Which week had the most sales? Which week had the most? By looking at these colors, you can just tell. Which week had the fewest sales? You can also just look at the colors and count. Bakery goods sold on Thursday. Bread, muffins, cakes, bagels. On this one we sold, we looked at the entire month of June. On this one, we looked into the entire month of June. Here, we're only so looking at the goods sold on Thursday. And this legend tells us that each bill equals $5. So bread wouldn't be one, two, three, four, five dollars. No, you would count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. Muffins, 20. Cakes, 10. Bagels, 20. Why does this, what does this picture graph show? What does it show? It shows the title of the actual picture graph. What is the title? Bakery customers spent the most money on which item? Which item? And just by looking at it, you'll know which has the most bills on there. How much money was spent on muffins? Think muffins. How much money was, and it's not $4 because each bill stands for $5. So I'm guessing each bill is a $5 bill. Did Thursday's customers spend more money on cakes or bagels? Did they spend more money on cakes or bagels? Tell me why. Lastly, you can create a sales pitch. Think of something to sell. Why would others want to buy it? You would also have to write an advertisement or an ad for it. Write an ad to sell your item. Use details to describe the item. Here's a project that you can do at home or whenever you go back to school with a group of people. Plan a class fair, you know, fair where you have all kinds of games and rides and so on and so forth. A lot of food. Provide goods or services. Which goods and services are you going to provide at this fair? Create ads and flyers. Sell your goods or services at the class fair. And lastly, think about why some items sold better than others. Thank you for joining me in this People in the Marketplace Review. Hopefully you enjoyed it or learned something about it.